Hi everyone, today I'm here with one of my friends, Erin. She is up or down from LA, not up from LA, to come and get her hair done and hang out with my husband and I. And we are going to be doing like a complete makeover transformation on her hair. So I'm gonna have you turn to the side. The last time we did her hair was like six months ago. So she has pretty grown out roots and she's like a really good level like seven, eight base. And now we just have all of her leftover hair color on here. So what I'm going to be doing is having, we have like an inspiration picture of kind of what we want to do with some really amazing reds. So we're going to do like a deep root with a really bright red kind of going out into like a soft, like bright orangey red. And I'm going to be using Olaplex to make sure that we can keep her hair nice and healthy because it has grown out so far, like a ton, and we haven't cut it in so long. And then we're just gonna go in and just kind of shape up her haircut for her because I'm sure she wants a haircut. And yeah, I will walk you guys through the steps of what we do. All right, so for Erin's hair, step one is we're going to lighten her ends up a little bit to get that really gorgeous, kind of like blondy, orangey red on the bottom. So I'm using Schwarzkopf's Blonde Me. Um, this is a nine level lift. I love it because it gets your hair to such a gorgeous blonde in like little processing time. And then I'm gonna be using 30 volume because I'm gonna be working with Olaplex to ensure that Erin's hair stays nice and healthy and doesn't break off. Cause I'm really, like I really stress to clients that I love to make their hair pretty, but I'm not going to sacrifice their integrity. So we're gonna be upping a level to 30 volume because we're using Olaplex and Olaplex you always bump up to a higher level. And what we're gonna be mixing is two scoops of lightener. So to one scoop, you're supposed to put one eighth ounce of the Olaplex, but since I'm doing two scoops of lightener, I'm gonna be using one fourth mix of Olaplex. So I'm going to measure this off, put in my bleach, and it's supposed to be pre-mixed. So I'm just going to mix my bleach with my 30 volume. And if you guys are using Blonde Me, a quick tip, if you use like metal spatulas or um, mixers to mix your product, if you use metal and Blonde Me, it'll have like a chemical reaction and it will actually make your bleach expand and turn into like really light fluffy bleach. So if you don't want that to happen, then just use a brush because I don't like my lightener to expand that much because it can move on the head, especially if you're working with foils and you don't want that to happen. All right, so now I have my pre-mixed lightener what I'm going to do is get my one fourth ounce of Olaplex and it has a little measuring thing on the side so you can make sure that you know exactly how much you're using I'm going to pour that in my pre-mixed lightener and then stir it up and I normally make my lightener a little bit thicker because the Olaplex definitely makes it more runny and when I'm working with balayage I kind of want it to be like an in-between mixture all right, so I've sectioned Erin's hair off from the front forward, so I'm gonna be working with the back. And going from the underneath, I'm just going to be taking horizontal sections and then clipping this up and working from the bottom up. I need a clip. And I have a little balayage board. I love this one. It's just from Salon Centrix because I can put it right under the hair and balayage very easily. Starting at the end, I'm going to apply the product and then work my way up. And the way that I like to do balayaging is I like to just put like little colored strips that kind of go up and are like all over the place. So I'll put one here, I'll do one a little bit further down over here, and I'll do one up here. That way the end result is very soft and it isn't a harsh balayage line grab another section and because she has finer hair texture I can take a little bit thicker of sections basically I want to be able to see through the hair
nice work it slide with me and do the cotton I drew So this is Erin's hair. You can see that I've just like balayage through her ends. And then I have some of the pieces that kind of like shoot up all throughout the hair in different sections. So when we rinse this and we do the red, it's gonna just blend really beautifully and have so much dimension in it. And it's gonna be amazing. So I'm just gonna do the same thing throughout the sides and the front of um, her hair. See, we've brought the lightener. I have it kind of focused on here and then I have a few that come up, a few around her face. And I'll show you the other side as well it's kind of like the same it's kind of like the same thing we just have a few bits going up and you can see in the back how that's lightening it looks so beautiful and the great thing is is that it's still nice and strong because of olaplex i don't have to worry about her hair turning to mush after waiting until we wanted Erin's hair to get as light as we wanted it to be, I went and shampooed it and then just put a little bit of conditioner and then we blew it out dry because now we're going to go in and do that root color and that mid color. So you can see all around how like beautifully melted that color is into her hair. And now what I'm basically going to be doing is taking her root color and we're going to be taking out that dark from her roots to probably right in this area. So a good like two to three inches. And then I'm going to be focusing the red from about like right here to about right here. So we're gonna be leaving out her ends. And then in that I'm gonna bring down a little bit of red a little bit further so it's really soft and just melts from a dark to a bright to this really beautiful color that we're going to tone later. Okay, so for the first color, we're going to be doing her root area, so zone one. We're gonna be using Swarskoff um, Agora, and I'm using 4-88, and I'm going to be doing probably, probably one full ounce of color because she has finer hair. So I'm just going to do one ounce of 488, and then equal parts of developer. And I'm gonna be using 20 volume developer and I'm just gonna measure out a little over one ounce because some of it sticks to it. It's gonna be the darkest color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black brush so that I know it is going to be the darkest color. So the next color I'm doing is gonna be the brighter red and I'm going to be doing 6-88 and 8-77. And I'm just going to be doing equal parts of this. So I used 20 volume in this color as well, and I'm using a red bowl and a lighter brush so I know that this is going to be different from my roots. This is the dark, this is the lighter color. All right, so because Erin wants to have basically like a fake red, she wants it to be insanely bright, I'm gonna be adding in these concentrates. This is O-88 and O-77. Basically one is a copper concentrate and one is a red concentrate. It's just going to be that like added blast of color to really make her hair crazy vibrant. So the O-88 copper concentrate, which is O-77, I'm gonna be putting only a little bit, so maybe like that much. These are kind of colors that you really want to focus and make sure that you're only doing a little bit because it is so concentrated. It is straight pigment. So that is going to be my formula for the really bright red. So I'm going to start at her part in the top and I'm just going to start applying this to her base. And the way that I do it to make sure that it's not a straight line is I start painting it on 
kind of about where I want it to end. And then I flip it over, and when I flip it over, I'm going to kind of like push this out a little bit. So that now it isn't a solid line. So I'll do that again. I'm going to apply it to her base. Get really saturated. And then I'm going to push it over and start to just kind of like randomly push it out a little bit. This is the easiest way for me to do a smudge group. Alright, so now I'm going to switch bowls and go to my brighter color. And I'm going to do reverse. So I just put her roots on going that way. Now I'm going to come this way and do that mid lane. So I'm just going to take a section, pull it down, and then utilizing my hand, I'm going to start to paint that color on. So I'm going to kind of marry it in between that dark and light. And then I'm going to start to bring it down and just kind of brush through and sweep it out. That way it's not a harsh line. So I'm going to bring another section down and start to paint on this red. So just start to brush to the ends and you want to make sure that everything is really saturated. So really load on that product. All right, so we've applied it to this first quadrant using the dark to light, and then you can see some of those ends were left out. And I'm just gonna go through and do that to the rest of all of her hair. All right, so we have it all over her hair, from front to back and front. And you can see we just left out these little bit of ends, and I just kind of feathered it through, and it's kind of all different places. When we wash it, it's gonna be like this beautiful melt. Um, like let's say I was going to be using two ounces. I'll be using two ounces of this and then three ounces of this. Um, I'm not going to be using that much because Erin doesn't have a super thick amount of hair, but that's basically the ratio. And then I'm going to be using 10 volume because these pastel toners are with a 10 volume developer. And then I'm just going to add in my developer and I'm going to be mixing a little bit of Olaplex in with this as well. Because I'm not mixing a ton of color, I'm using just a tiny, tiny bit of Olaplex. And I'm just going to be putting that in there. Um, because I have used Olaplex for a little while now, I know kind of how much I want in my color. So when you have gotten more used to using Olaplex, that's when you can kind of play with it and always know that less is more with Olaplex. Follow the directions, make sure you know what you're doing, um, and then you can kind of customize it to how you like your color. I let this process for 20 minutes, and then I just rinsed it in ice cold water. Erin is going to have to be taking ice cold showers now for her hair because red is so high maintenance. I'm just gonna put a towel under your neck, that way it's not uncomfortable. And then I have my toner, and I'm just gonna kind of slather that all over her ends. Basically, this is just going to go over that bottom part of that color. So put it just up until you stop having some bright pieces. So once you have that fully saturated, then you can just sit and because this is a toner, you can either just like watch it and see what the color does or leave it on for a certain amount of minutes. I like to watch toners and just get them where I want them and then rinse them out. I don't want to do a whole lot of color to her ends. I just want to slightly change it to be a little bit more of like a peachier tone to go with her red. Okay, so now I'm seeing the tone that I really want to see through those ends, so I'm just going to rinse it with cold water. Now you can see it's just got this really beautiful, like, peachy tone to it. 
So now I'm going to towel dry her hair and we're gonna do the step two of Olaplex. This step is so important because this is what helps to just go in and finish putting all of the bonds back together. That way we do not have any icky ends that are damaged. So now we're gonna do step two of Olaplex. So what I'm going to do is just apply some into my hands and then put it through the parts that need it. So basically I'm just gonna be taking it from right at the base of where her head is all the way down through her ends. Cause her roots were natural so they really don't have any damage or any problems. It's still really healthy. So I'm just going to kind of pull this through the mid shaft to ends. And you wanna be kind of generous with this and make sure that it's heavily saturated. Is rinse her color with cold water and then I towel dried it, applied her toner, let her toner sit until I got it where I wanted, and then I rinsed it again, and now I'm applying the step two of Olaplex. You wanna do this even before, like all of these steps, before you shampoo and condition. Because this number two is not a conditioner even though it feels like it, and this is like the best process in the directions that it tells you of how to use this product and then you let this sit on there for 10 minutes. So she's just gonna hang out at the bowl for about 10 minutes. So now we're going to rinse all of the Olaplex number two out of her hair, and then we're just going to shampoo and condition as normal. Trimmed Erin's ends just to make sure that it's staying nice and healthy, because it's really important to keep your hair tough and healthy. And for her ends, I'm gonna use Ego's End Doctor. This is like a smoothing sealant. I love this product because it just helps to keep your ends nice and healthy. And then the second product is Shape Fixin' by Evo. This is basically like a body gel, but when you blow it in, it just disappears. And you can have great touchable hair without all that sticky ickiness, and it gives a really good light volume. And then I'm gonna blow dry her hair, directing all of her hair up to give maximum volume. Okay, so this is inside and it is dry. I just wanted to show you guys without it being curled how like soft that melt is. Like you can't tell where it starts and where it ends because it's just like so softly melted in all the way from the front through the back. Now we're gonna curl. One of my bosses came over and saw Erin. We just finished her hair and then she was looking at her eyebrows and Erin has like a natural like eight, eight, seven ashy hair and her brows were like super, super ashy. So my boss Rita was like, okay, go grab some 10-1 and some 20 volume and put it on there just to cut the edge of her eyebrows and to bring a little bit of warmth out. And it has made the biggest difference. Now, like we didn't put red color on it because that would be super intense. We just kind of lifted her brows just a little bit to pull out some of that warmth. So tip of the day from my boss Rita, Lighten the eyebrows a little bit when you're doing this drastic of a hair change. All right, so we just finished Erin's hair. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I have to, I've had to like go to different lighting to try to get the correct lighting because it was blasting out way too much. Here you can actually see like the depth of her red. You can see it going into that beautiful like soft apricotty color. It is just so beyond gorgeous and exactly what we were going for. We are so happy. I think the most amazing thing about Erin's hair is that you guys can see her hair. You can see me touching it and playing with it. It looks so healthy and so shiny and so beautiful because utilizing Olaplex makes hair incredible, especially for girls that have fine or hair that can go damaged. We don't have to worry about it anymore. When you're using Olaplex in the correct ways and just ensuring the health of your client's hair, it is so incredibly awesome. Do you love it? I love it! <laughs> so excited. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to check out my playlist below that is going to be including the other hair that I have shared tutorials with, and I'll see you guys in my next video.